crazy. Good morning, Double R Radio. Here we are Friday morning. Let's go live. Let's go live. I already said that. Good morning, Double R Radio. Friday morning, December the 10th, 2021. Live on Facebook. Stop by and say hello, and I'll say hello back, and all that other good stuff. Anyways, Friday morning it is. Uh, 73 degrees happening right now in San Antonio. Cloudy skies. Uh, but the sun's going to come out, and uh, it's going to be an unusual 85 degrees happening today, but that's okay. Later on this evening, we have a cool front coming through here, and it's going to bring down the temperatures just the way I like it. I don't want this warm weather crap in December. Let's bring things down a little bit. The 30s, the 20s. Why well, give you that holiday feel? That's what it's all about. Anyways, you know, um, have y'all ever noticed that... Um, if you're typing something on your computer, maybe even on your phone or whatever, looking for something, all of a sudden you start getting advertisements on your... Who in the hell? Look, I'm going to show you all something. Check this out. Check this out. What does that say? Scam likely. Pissing me off. It interrupted me on my morning joke. Well, anyways, uh, see, uh, they get me out of the holiday spirit. I'm trying to be in the holiday spirit, but they get me out of the holiday spirit. <laughs> right? right, I'm really trying to be in the holiday spirit. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go to, uh, I got to buy tamales. Uh, and I got 10 days to buy tamales, actually 15 days to buy tamales. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to bring the price down a little bit on tamales. Tamales are very expensive nowadays. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to go to, um, let's see here. You know, Culebra Meat Market, they got some pretty good tamales here in San Antonio. I'm going to go over there and their tamales are probably going to be ten ninety nine. I'm going to go, hey, listen, um, ma'am, I'm, I'm trying to get in the holiday spirit. Can you make it eight ninety nine? Huh? Trying to get in the holiday spirit, huh? Eight ninety nine? Huh? <laughs> right, right. Huh? You want to get in the holiday spirit, so you want me to pay twelve ninety nine? Um, how about if I pay twelve ninety nine on one dozen and I pay eight ninety nine on the other dozen? How about that? How about if we meet halfway? Breaks even, right? To ten ninety nine. <laughs> Anyways, but really, man, uh, it's just. I mean, stuff like this, man. You know, like I was saying earlier, that I can be shopping out there doing my thing and. You know, trying to get in the holiday spirit. You hear babies crying and, you know, people in the parking lot. Somebody stole a parking space. Hey, you sorry. Right. And, but you're in the holiday spirit. There you go. You're out there Christmas shopping. Um, I got to give a big shout out to Double R Radio sponsor, Angie Castillo Blanco, Converse, Texas, who sent me a message who says, Hola, Bobby. Today is my granddaughter's birthday. Can you please send a shout out? She's 17 years old today. And, of course, uh, uh, she forgot to send me her name. <laughs> Who am I sending a shout-out to? And then she sends it back. Angelis Castillo. There we go. Seven, uh, 17 years old. Happy birthday, Angelis Castillo. Um. Anyways, getting back to what I was talking about here. Good morning, John. I got out the double R radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. He said TGIF. Thank God it's Viernes, right? Also, good morning, shout-out, good night Silvia Solis. He said, good morning, Robert. Have a blessed day. And you as well, Silvia. Also, good morning, shout-out, good night to my buddy from Colorado, Pueblo, Colorado. He said, good morning, brother. Good morning, Leroy. He said, in San Luis, Colorado, the tamales are $15. I know my question is this. How did these tamales get to be so expensive? I mean, I remember them to be $1.99 a dozen, $2.99 a dozen. All of a sudden, pinche tamales, girl. All of a sudden, I mean, they get us out of the Christmas spirit. And that's even more so. You know, and this is true. Whenever you, what the hell? Whenever, whenever you buy tamales, you don't know what you're going to get until you unwrap the little uh, tamale shell. You know, until then, surprise! It can be a good tamale. It can be a bad tamale. It can be a medium-sized tamale. You know, what am I talking about here? But, right, it's, it's true. It really, really is. You don't know what kind of tamales you're going to get until you unwrap that tamale. Right, ladies? <laughs> you're probably going, Robert, are we talking about the same tamale, Robert? Uh, I don't know, are we? <laughs> right? But it just seems that... 
people come out of the woodwork selling tamales, man. I mean, all these people, man, on the internet, hey, I'm selling tamales, hey, I'm selling tamales, hey, I'm everybody's selling tamales. But it's just a matter of finding the good ones and the bad ones. Now, you know you're getting a, <laughs> yeah, Leroy's right, greed. Leroy, you hit the nail on the head, amigo. Greed it is. That's right. That's like um, some of these people, I and mean, some people want $15 a dozen, like what Leroy is saying out there in Colorado. Ain't you good? Cut Leroy some slack here, man. Come on, por favor. Give him the dozen at $10. Help the guy out a little bit. Good morning, shout out get up to Maggie Pias. Good morning, Maggie. How we doing? Well, anyways, like I said, I need to go buy some tamales, and my daughter already told me, Dad, I want chicken. All right, and my other daughter told me, Dad, I want bean and cheese. I said, okay, and um, I'll probably get them next week and put them in the freezer, and they'll be good to go by Christmas Eve. You know, um, i, I got to be honest with you guys. Um, about a year ago, I was given a joint. You know, what do you call them, a blunt? They don't call them a joint no more, right, marijuana? Marijuana. Um, well, anyways, I was given a joint blunt, and... Um, it comes in a little plastic shell casing to protect it, right? Well, um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think I smoke half a joint maybe once every five years. <laughs> right? That's pretty pathetic. I'll smoke half a joint once every five years. Well, about a year ago, somebody gave me this joint, and they said, hey, enjoy, bro. And I go, man, I'm not going to smoke it for a while, dude. I'm not one of those kind of a guy, but I will smoke it, but it just... It's all right. It'll be good for a long time. And I totally forgot about it. I totally forgot about this 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 joint that uh, this guy gave me, right? And I was cleaning some shelves here the other day, and I stumbled across it. I said, hey, man, there's that joint that my buddy gave me from a year ago. And I'm thinking, it's got to be stale. It's no good. It's not fresh no more. Why even mess with it? So... Um, I called him up and I said, hey, dude, I owe you an apology, man. Remember that joint you gave me? He goes, yeah, man, how was it? I said, dude, I I, I, I totally forgot about it. I, I put it somewhere and I found it. I know it's been a year, dude, so I apologize, dude. I never I never smoked it. Like I told him, I, told him, I, I don't do that stuff once, once every five years, so I'm going to throw it away. And he goes, no, dude, don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. You can still save it. And I go, how can I save it, dude? How can I save it? He goes, you have an air fryer? And I go, yeah, put it in the air fryer for two minutes. Voila, it'll be back to being a badass joint, nice and fresh. I said, really, dude? So if I put this joint in the air fryer for two minutes, it'll be like if it just came out of the the uh, <laughs> the pastures where it grew. He goes, yeah, dude, just put it in the air fryer, but don't put it on Max Crisp because then it'll burn and then everybody inside your house will get high. I said, all right, he goes, just put it on regular. Don't put it on Max Crisp. I said, all right, all right. So I may try that this weekend. I may put that little joint inside the, the air fryer, put that baby at two minutes and see how good that mother is. Maybe, right? Probably somebody from the San Antonio Police Department is listening. Oh, yeah, Robert? Okay, we got you. Just give us the time, and we'll be there, right? Come on. They're not going to mess with me for a little baby joint. That's even if I smoke it. I haven't smoked a joint since, let me see here. And I went to go see the premiere of Saturday Night Fever. I think it was 1979. I read around there somewhere. I don't know. Good morning, Judd. I'm going to Maru Flores. Every day is Christmas, and every night is New Year's Eve, Maru. Good morning, good morning, Maru. Where are we at? Let me see here. How much time do I got? I got a little bit of time. What else do I not to say? Do I need to say? Um, by the way, on a side note, um, I don't know if you guys know this or not. I'm going to give you all a fun fact. I am lactose intolerant. <laughs> is it intolerant or tolerant lactose you know when you can't drink milk because if you drink milk it'll upset your stomach and uh you'll set a new world record in the restroom well i'm one of those guys i'm lactose tolerant intolerant well i didn't know i love eggnog i'm very traditional i love eggnog only it makes my my tummy sicky so um <laughs> so i said do they have any lactose free eggnog so I went to H-E-B the other day, and I told the guy at the milk department, Hey, dude, are you with the milk department? He goes, Yes, I am. I said, Okay. I said, Hey, dude, um, I'm looking for um, um, eggnog that doesn't make your tummy sicky. 
do you have any eggnog that doesn't make your tummy sicky? He goes, yeah, that one right there, man. That one right there that says eggnog for the people who don't want their tummy sicky. That one right there. That's it. I said, wow, man, that's pretty cool. I didn't know they had eggnog that was for lactose people. So um, I'm going to buy some of that. I'm going to buy some of that eggnog because, like I said, I'm very, very traditional. I really, really am. And there's nothing better. And this is the truth, man. If you've never tried this, try this. There's nothing better than getting a tamale and dunk it in your eggnog. Tamale, cabron. Really, man, even the tamale looks back at me. Are you serious? You're going to dunk me in there? So, um, but really, man, if you've never tried it, try dunking your tamale and eggnog. Man, I'm telling you, man, it's the best. <laughs> I'm not playing either. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep it going. Let's do something. Uh, who in the hell are these people? Los del Rio. Name of the song. You know it. The Macarena. Good morning. How we doing, everybody? Friday morning it is. Free form Friday. I got my coffee working right here in my Double R Radio Morning Show Coffee Mug. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me now. Robert Weaver's Radio.com. Also, YouTube viewers, be sure and subscribe, por favor. Also... Is that you can always make a donation to Double R Radio by going to robertreversradio.com and click on the donate button, man. Show your appreciation. Show that you really, really love Double R Radio by making a donation. All donations greatly, greatly appreciated. Let's get back to the morning show. i got to hit a couple of buttons here. Let me see here. Button number one. Let me see. I don't want to miss anybody. We're good to go. Button number one. Beep. Button number two. 